Uh, my name is Ed Silverman. I'm uh, the chief of the Channing Division of Network Medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital and a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. So what we're really trying to do is to understand, diagnose, and ultimately prevent and treat complex diseases. And to do that, we are using a range of different uh, systems and network-based approaches in addition to the traditional epidemiology and genetics work that we've done over the years, and more and more using omics data from whole genome sequencing to gene expression to metabolomics and proteomics. Traditionally, diseases have been diagnosed based on manifestations in particular organs or based on their end-stage pathologic manifestations. We're trying to understand the underlying biological mechanisms for disease because we think if we could do that, we could have more meaningful ways of diagnosing disease, more accurate ways of classifying disease, and more precise ways of treating disease. I think one of the most unique parts of our division is the diversity of the kinds of people that work there. We have epidemiologists and geneticists, we have physicians and physicists, and everyone brings their own uh, perspective and background uh, as we try to come up with new ways to understand complex diseases. So we have a broad range of, uh, of research going on. We still do a, a lot of traditional research risk factor epidemiology. We have large population-based cohorts with more than 300,000 people that have uh, often been followed for decades. So we're understanding the relationship of environmental factors like diet to uh, key outcomes. We're also continuing to do genetic studies to understand the inherited risk factors for, for complex diseases like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and many other uh, diseases. But more and more, we're doing more of these systems-based analyses where we measure a one or sometimes multiple kinds of uh, omics data from gene expression to metabolomics to proteins to epigenetics and learning how to integrate those different kinds of data using systems and network approaches to understand the underlying causes of disease.